It is the privilege of believers to see, to see into the spirit. You do not have to be a prophet to be prophetic. Every believer has the liberty of operating prophetically. The power of the seeing eye. Men walk with their climates. They carry their climates. People carry their atmospheres. Spiritual atmospheres are communicable. You can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere. You can listen to a man and by listening to that man and opening your spirit, his atmosphere can prime your own atmosphere and you will begin to experience what that person is experiencing prophetic revelations the ability to see prophetically how could you fail with these systems of advantage no prophetic revelations like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks, spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars prophetic revelations prophetic revelations i want you to listen now prophetic revelations john 16 13 prophetic revelations you do not have to be a prophet to be prophetic i said it while i was teaching this morning in lagos that there is the office of a prophet but there is the operation of the prophetic and you do not have to be a prophet to have that privilege every believer has the liberty of operating prophetically jesus said when he the spirit of truth is come please look up he will guide you into all truth it says for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear he shall speak help me read the last sentence and he will show you things to come 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 the word of knowledge comes under this category also the ability to have insight into events past and events present the moment it becomes futuristic is no longer the word of knowledge the jurisdiction of the word of knowledge is access to events past and events present the moment you begin to speak about the future that is prophecy not word of knowledge the word of knowledge has a jurisdiction because it deals with events past and events present hallelujah revelations 1 verse 1 and then we do four verse one the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must surely come to pass to show his servants what the things which must shortly come to pass the things which must shortly come to pass imagine that by prophetic insight you have access to what will happen tomorrow tuesday wednesday Thursday concerning your life concerning your family Revelations 4 and verse 1 4 and verse 1 after this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show you the things that must be hereafter when god gives you the miracle of the seen eyes you will start seeing in the spirit seeing in the spirit is different from dreams in many ways it's even different from visions you are literally caught up like ezekiel was caught up and he was brought into certain realms where he saw things this is very powerful in first kings chapter 5 the full text is from verse 20 down to 27. The story of Naaman, Gehazi, and Elisha. The Bible tells us that when Naaman was healed, he returned back with gifts to say thank you. Second Kings 5. He came to say thank you. And when he said thank you, Elisha told him, don't worry. Carry your gifts and go away with it. And while he was saying that, the Bible says Gehazi, Remember this, Gehazi. The guy was hot and angry and said, how could this man lose such an opportunity like this? And he came out 
and smuggled his way to follow the chariot and Gehazi the servant of Elisha the man of God said behold my master had spared Naaman this Syrian not receiving at his hands that which he brought but as the Lord liveth, can you imagine he's even mentioning the Lord there I will run after him and take some word of him next verse so Gehazi followed after Naaman and when Naaman saw him running after him he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said is all well uh-huh and he said all is well my master had sent me saying this is how many people will be cheated in their organizations because they do not have the seen eye someone will go and misrepresent you and say well I was sent by this boss I was sent by this preacher and because we do not have the seen eye you will be misrepresented in the face of people because there are individuals within your organization that may be compromising out of your values but because you do not have the eyes to see let's finish up behold even now there be come unto me from Mount Ephraim two young men look at how he cooked up that lie he wasted his creativity you see that that all this story just came out like word of knowledge two young men of the sons of the prophets I hope you know lies taps into creativity because you don't rehearse lies if you rehearse lies the Holy Spirit will most likely convict you while you are rehearsing it and say is this worth it and you now say I repent to oh God I'm sorry so when you can literally stand before people and lie for hours and as the lie is coming when you realize there's a loophole another creativity covers the lie let's finish this scripture please koinonia don't do this to me i pray thee he said a talent of silver and two changes of raiment let's finish up and then naaman said be content take two talents and he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags and two changes of raiment and laid them upon two of his servants and they bear them before him uh -huh. we're reading to 27 and when he came to the tower he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house and he let the men go and they departed 25 but he went in and stood before his master say the seeing eye and Elisha said unto him from where are you coming listen when people who have eyes ask you certain questions just tell the truth because to lie is to complicate the situation again he would have just said sir you have seen I know you have seen something I'm sorry let's finish that scripture from whence cometh thou Gehazi and he said thy servant went not with her I didn't go anywhere and he said unto him when not my heart or some versions who say my spirit was my spirit not with you when the man turned again from his chariot look at him describing this he was not in a crusade ground he was in his house when he turned from his chariot my God only God knows how many people are seeing what you are doing you are not alone no who else saw it from his chariot while you were collecting the bribe you were alone in the room as you hid it is it true that you were alone oh his angels and the realm of the spirit no there are men who have the seen eye hallelujah is it a time to receive money and to receive garments look at how he described how do you lie he has already told you what you received money and garments and olive yards, vineyards, sheep, oxen, manservant, main servant, 27. And in anger he's costing the leprosy therefore of Neman shall cleave to thee and unto thy seed forever. There is no mention of the man saying, Have mercy. And he went out from his presence immediately, a leper as white as snow. What a fearful prophet it didn't take three days old as he was speaking a man just became leprous immediately the power of the seeing eye 
every time you have insight into things in the realm of the spirit you can create possibilities sometimes in a moment this is the reason why when people prophesy they speak from that altitude in the spirit god has granted them access to sight and they can say be blessed and immediately realities just materialize and manifest in your life it is true hallelujah praise the name of the lord do you believe this prophetic revelations the bible says that men and women can see it is the privilege of believers to see to see into the spirit and you can know you can walk in the spirit you can literally be carried in the spirit and you do not have to be a prophet it is the strength of your secret place the health of your spirit man hallelujah i did not even know that there was a prophetic dimension to my life when i started having supernatural experiences it was just blind hunger loving jesus and unfortunately in my case it was a mix of all kinds of spirits remember i shared with you about this oppression that i would have in my room and then these spirits would just open my door literally and begin to press you and now you are in the world of the spirit but you are not able to manifest physically you see that now let me tell you something that just to educate our minds watch this if i am here now standing with another individual the moment i am open to the realm of the spirit the person standing close to me will be affected by that reality because i have opened a portal he may not know what has happened to him are we together now is the reason why people carry their atmospheres oh dear yes it is true people carry their atmospheres when paul as saul encountered jesus the other people in the donkey they did not know what was happening but they fell as a result of it you get that yeah so if my eyes is open and i'm seeing something now there will be a reaction within the circumference it doesn't matter anybody within there because a portal has been opened it's a vista it's a gateway it's an access point it will affect everybody within that circumference and this is the idea of walking under a, an open heavens that through consecration yieldedness and alignment you literally become a walking portal you are a conduit point are we together now yes when that happens to you as a man of god you become a mysterious blessing you will carry the power of god your assignment is to take the glory to meetings and the moment you stand there that portal is opened beyond just your preaching and singing all kinds of spiritual activities are happening angels ascending and descending anointings and mantles are pouring upon people whilst you are speaking hallelujah you can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere you can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere spiritual atmospheres are communicable you can be affected by another man's prayer life you can be affected by another man's spiritual climate men walk with their climates they carry their climates listen have you ever entered a room and you just sense that they've been gossiping in this room there's jealousy because these things are an interaction with the realm of the spirit as casual as they sound and the realm of the spirit has presence components that follow it hatred has a presence jealousy has a presence love has a presence power has a presence creativity has a presence it is true hallelujah that is the reason why you can listen to a man and by listening to that man and opening your spirit his atmosphere can prime your own atmosphere and you will begin to experience what that person is experiencing it is true 
it is true. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hallelujah. You can enter a house where a man through the sacrifice of spiritual exercises has literally opened a portal there and the man may not be around. You can sit alone in the living room and certain interactions in the spirit are happening to you because you came under a portal and open heavens. This is true. So if a man carries his spiritual climate, it can have an effect on you. It's true. Most high, most high, most high, most high, most high, most high. Hallelujah. Now hear me ladies and gentlemen. Those who will be champions in the spirit in this end time. Are those who will be interested in receiving the gift of sight. The gift of the seen eye. Not the open eye. Your eye can be open and yet you are blind. Parakatos kadibalakusia. Your eye can be open, man of God, and yet you are blind. There is the miracle of sight. Blind Bartimeo said that I may receive my sight. He didn't say that my eyes be open, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said, then receive your sight. It is a gift, you can receive it. The ability to see prophetically, the ability to see through the mind of your imagination, the ability to see, to draw insight from scripture, the ability to take advantage of dreams and visions and rewrite your destiny. How could you fail with these systems of advantage? No. Most high. Most high. Most high. Most high. Most high. Most high. Something is happening to you. Most high. Most high. Ah. Most high. 